Alright, oh, so back to it. So basically just removing spot welds and stuff still. Just went along with my paint marker. Just marked all the spot welds. Then, if I can get this off. There we go. So basically, I just go along with my cutting wheel and just cut either side and then I come along with the grinder and grind it away much easier than doing it with the drill and then going along and drilling all the holes back up I know you can buy the spot welder uh, spot weld drill bits and everything but this is what I got this is what I'm doing so I'll get into this get this front bit done finish off that other side's done I'll finish off this side here and then I've got to get into removing those bits and pieces then get the body over it and figure out where these are going to be cut to mount up um, yeah, I'll get into it. See how many times I've set myself on fire. The old mullet. She's a wicked haircut, but cry he causes some hazards in the shed. Could smell it smouldering there the other day, and then on the creeper, run over it, and then all of a sudden you're stuck underneath the car. So we might have to sort that out, but that's another issue for the time being. Let's get stuck into this again. So that's what we ended up with. I've actually been having a bit of a win with the old fence and pliers. I don't know if I can get it if I sit that on that balance there. Let's see if it'll probably won't do it now. But just grabbing it and twisting it. I'll just see if I can get another one. Rip the whole piece out. Dope. There we go. And it just, if you just grab it like yonder, probably won't be able to do it one handed. Yeah, no. Nah. But you get what I'm saying. Just grab it, rock it, and then it just snaps them off yeah all right so that's those areas all cleaned up got that knocked down so I've just bought this other sill panel around because I was thinking what to do here <clears throat> but because it's, it's a sedan it's factory raised there for the B pillar so I think I'll just cut cut it out and um, yeah just leave it off for the time being to get the body fit the body and everything and then with this panel here I'll just end up just cutting say across there and down to here and then just mount that top strip along there so yeah it'll just be like along there up bunk and then that gives me that raised section and everything to follow that out to there and then down <clears throat> be much easier just doing it like that than removing the whole seal panel because these seals are actually pretty good order or oh, it's got a dent up there but yeah what can you do yeah so for the time being I'll just cut these sections out and um, yeah look at trying to get that over to over to this side and sort of sit it on there and that way it will give me a bit more of a idea with the front how to attack that alright I'll cut these out so a quick tip which I found out and I should have known but that support panel there if I'd come up a bit higher I would have missed it 
if I'd come along that line there, it would have stayed tack weld along there. So I'll have to weld that in. Again, this side here, I did the right thing. So I cut it high enough so it misses it and it's all still welded along there. Alright, now to somehow bunny hop the Monaro over the top of the pool table and everything to get to this side so we can plonk her on there. Well, here we are again. The shell hanging from the roof from ratchet straps again. Yeah, well, what do you know? So that was pretty sketchy, but anyway, as you can see, this is all gonna work out much better. All in here, up along. <coughs> now it's got a Figure out where this is going to be made. Um, thinking I might try and do it the same around here, somewhere that way it's got a much larger contact area for welding. Yeah, and it gets rid of all this rubbish. That's down, that's down low. Righto, so I'll mark, mark this out and fingers crossed I don't mess it up. So there we have it. That's those bits just roughly trimmed off. It needs to be shuffled back oh, and bought this way just a little bit. The reason why it's not sitting in place perfect is because I'll need to trim these bits off to match. Let's swing that camera around there. So I'll get those to match. But yeah, this is going to be so much better. I don't need to trim. There's a little bit here poking up so that'll sit down and back. And then yeah, like, like I said earlier about cutting that piece out of that other sill panel and dropping it all down. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is very, oh, it's pretty, oh, not inspirational, that's not the word I'm looking for, motivational. Yeah, seeing this sitting here, it felt like I was never gonna get to this stage. But it's so close now. So good. Yeah, so obviously I need to trim these up a bit. It's still a bit much because it, it's not sitting down. I left it that little bit extra so I can trim it until it's sitting smick. Yeah. Let's uh, 
get back here and have a look at it. Wicked. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Stoked. So I put the inside, I've just marked a line. I'll just cut them both each side. Because the body is still sitting up a bit, it'll give me room to just trim them down and make them fit pretty mint. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. So I'll just fire the grinder up, give it a trim and see how it looks. See if I can shuffle the body back into a bit better position and see what more trimming needs to be done at the front. So I've got it sitting roughly in position. So as you can see it's sitting touching here and I'm still up 5 mil or so. So I'm just going to go along, slowly trim, trim it down until these are all perfect and that hole is the same as these. Yeah, just bouncing from side to side, getting them both spot on. I'm just going to be using just the grinder at the one mil disc just slowly slicing away until it's spot on. So I've got it sitting roughly in position. So as you can see it's sitting touching here and I'm still up five mil or so. So I'm just going to go along slowly trim, trim it down until these are all perfect and that hole is the same as these. Yeah, just bouncing from side to side, getting them both spot on. I'm just going to be using just the grinder at the one mil disc, just slowly slicing away until it's spot on. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me and if I'm talking loud, Oh well, sorry, it's raining here at the moment, so I don't know if it can get pretty noisy. So where I left off was I was just trimming away at the sides until I got it to come down pretty nice. As you can see it's pretty good there. I need to give it another little shim, a skim I mean. Just a, just a touch to bring that, bring that seam down real nice as you can see this side it's not too bad it's getting there anyway um, so that's all I'm going to do uh, this trip home next trip um, I'll just finish that off then I'll pull the body back off and we'll do the um, steel panel like I said trim them out, trim the tops and put them in and then the body will go on, put a few tacks on it, put the doors on, swing them, make sure they're all sitting pretty and if it's all sweet, buzz it up, melt it together. Yeah, mullet's gone, yeah, it has become a hazard. It was smouldering a couple of times with some welding and running over it with the creeper. And it was hot. Yeah. But anyway, see you next time.